Well, friends, Papa's got a problem. Hi, friends. This was a difficult video to make because I tend to be more comfortable being private about personal things. But today we visit the emergency room at Kingman Regional Medical Center. Stay tuned to the end to see what happens when Papa gets out of the hospital. Okay, friends, this is Papa Dale. Things are not so good with me. I've got a, a lot of, a whole lot of uh, abdominal pain. Uh, a lot of extended swelling and uh, really hurts bad. I'm going to have to go to the emergency room of the hospital here in Kingman, Arizona. And uh, I think I know what it is because I think I've had this before about a year and a half ago. Uh, man, it's hurting bad. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll check in with you later and let you know what's going on. Well, friends, Papa's got a problem. I just got into Kingman, got gas, got everything dumped, took on fresh water, and now I'm going to have to go to the hospital. So I'm going to the hospital as quickly as I can. I don't really want to give you a lot of details right now, but I'll tell you about Take it later. A lot of pain, a lot of pain here in the emergency room, waiting, 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 waiting. Walking around a bit helps, helps the pain a little bit. Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna explode. Hope they hurry. It's been about 45 minutes. That's not uh, a long time by emergency room standards, I realize. It's a long time by how my body feels. Owie, 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 owie. Come on, people. Come on. Well, okay, friends. I'm trying to smile, but it's hard. Actually, I'm smiling a lot more right now than I was when I was out in the uh, emergency waiting room. They got me back to a, uh, a treatment room. I am on the gurney. And actually, uh, the nurse has put in a catheter into my bladder. My problem was urinary retention. I've had this once before about a year, a year and a half ago. And they gave me medication to take on a daily basis that uh, seemed to limit it or prevent it. But uh, last night, it started up again, and uh, today, this morning, uh, it was very, very, very painful as my bladder just grew and grew and grew and grew, pushing against all my internal organs until they got me back here and put in a Foley catheter that uh, relieved the urinary pressure. Anyway, that's where I'm at. I don't know uh, what is going to happen from here. The last time this happened, they just gave me a portable. And uh, I was out the same day. So I'm hoping and assuming it'll be the same. Because Bandit is out in the parking lot in the motorhome. And I don't know what this is going to do to my trip. I may end up having to just go out and get in the motor home and spend the next two days heading home. I don't know yet. We'll see. But uh, this is a yabba dabba doozy in a negative way. <laughs> it's Papa Dale checking out. I hope not permanently. <laughs> Well, hi, friends. It's your favorite papa coming to you from a treatment room at Kingman Regional Medical Center. Well, I just saw the doctor. doctor said a couple of things. Uh, looks like we're going to do some lab work on blood and urine and see if those show anything. Then, if everything looks good there, we will leave the catheter in and uh, my 
trip to the south is going to get cut short, about three weeks. I will start heading home early, might be able to see a couple things along the way. But uh, head home head home early with catheter in and uh, get home in uh, a week or two, see my urologist and see what they have to say, go from there. So that's what I know for now. <laughs> Papa Dale, check it out. Well, hi friends, this is Papa Dale and I'm um, just uh, now walking out of the emergency room going back to uh, Bandit in the RV had uh, parked the RV and the tracker in the hospital parking lot and opened uh, all the windows and turned on all the fans Got a big box fan that gets the uh, the air flowing through there pretty well. Left him a big bowl of water, but I'm still uh, eager to get back there and make sure he's all right. So uh, when I get back there, I'll do a clip and uh, share with you uh, what the upshot is here. So it was nice that when I uh, got here, there was a spot that I could see as the day wore on that this big old pine tree right here would shade the RV and keep it a little cooler for Bandit. So I'm hopeful that he wasn't too uncomfortable in there today. Let's see if he hears me. Bandit! Bandit! Hey, Bandit! Bandit! I must have something in the seat. He doesn't want to jump up onto the chair. Hi, Bandit. What you doing in here? Are you being a good boy? Yeah, I'm a good boy, Papa. But where the heck have you been all day? I've been in here all by myself, and I've been real lonesome. And I've been wanting to go for a walk, and I've been wanting to bark at some donkeys. So how come you've been gone all day? Well, Papa had to go see the vet. Only dogs go see vets. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I meant the doctor. The human vet. I had to go see the doctor. Oh, yeah? Well, are you okay now? Well, I'm gonna be. I'm a little better. I'm a lot better than I was when I left you here. And I'm gonna get better. Okay? Yeah, well, I'm glad for that. But hurry up and come in here and give me some food. Okay, I will. Well, it's been a long day at the hospital, and after the day I've had, I think I deserve to treat myself. So, Panda Express. <laughs> Looks awesome. We've got rice and chow mein. We've got... Uh, chicken and green beans and broccoli and beef and over here we've got shrimp honey glazed walnut shrimp it's awesome one of my favorites that's my dinner <laughs> ha so I'm feeling a lot better than I did when I entered the hospital but I got some issues ahead. So we'll tell you about those in a minute after I eat my dinner.
Okay. So a lot of people want to know what's wrong with Papa. Why was I in the hospital today? And the core issue is kind of personal. But since I've been putting my whole life out there on video on YouTube the last couple of years, I may as well share this too. In uh, 2014, in February, I was diagnosed with cancer, prostate cancer. It was a very aggressive form of prostate cancer, so that wasn't good news. But we also caught it pretty early, so that was good news. It was pretty much all contained, as near as they could tell, inside the prostate gland. Which means none of the cancer cells had escaped and gone out to other parts of my body, which is how prostate cancer kills people. Prostate cancer and breast cancer are very similar. The cellular structure of the cancer cells is very similar. And the way that it attacks and it kills people is very similar. People don't die because their breast is infected with cancer or because their prostate gland is infected with cancer. They die because the cancer spreads from there to other parts of the body. So anyway, um, I was diagnosed with cancer. With cancer, I uh, chose to have radiation treatment rather than surgery. I uh, had uh, 28 sessions of radiation, um, beam radiation, which is kind of like x-rays, only they're about 200 times, each one of them is about 200 times more powerful than an x-ray. And then we finished it up with two sessions of needle implant radiation pellet uh, therapy. What that is, is uh, 32 8 inch long needles are inserted into my body, into a body, into the prostate gland, and very high doses of radiation for limited periods of time are inserted down these needles and then withdrawn. And I went through that twice. It's actually a surgical procedure performed in a surgery center. So anyway, uh, I had some challenges for the next few years. I gained uh, uh, about 65, 70 pounds in the process because of the chemotherapy that I had to have. And uh, it was not a pleasant experience. But I decided I wanted to live a little longer, so I was willing to go through it. One of the side effects of the radiation therapy was that it damaged uh, some of my internal organs uh, around the bladder, around where the urethra inserts into the bladder, and the end result is um, things don't work quite as well as they used to. Well, that didn't even affect me much for a while uh, until about a year and a half ago when my urinary systems just shut down totally. I wasn't able to urinate and uh, but my body was still producing urine and it was filling up my bladder and the pressure was just becoming unbearable. I had to go to the hospital and uh, get a catheter and have the urine drained and uh, after about a week they put me on a medication uh, colloquially called Flomax and uh, everything has been fine since then for about a year and a half. Well, yesterday I was camping up in Oatman, and I noticed in the evening that I was having some challenges. And so I uh, quit got out of Oatman and, and headed down into Kingman, which is where I was headed anyway. But by the time I got to Kingdom Kingman, I was in a great deal of pain. So... I drove the RV and Bandit and me to the hospital, went into the emergency, 
and it took them about six hours because of some hospital issues that they had to finally uh, get me finished up and uh, get me out of the emergency room and uh, having gotten a catheter again and I'll have to have this catheter for the next week or so but it can't stay in longer than that I need to see my uh, personal urologist and so I have to head home so I'm gonna take uh, about two weeks to head home they don't like the catheters to be in more than about a month at the most so I'm gonna take about two weeks to head home and I'm going to try to get in to see my urologist right away as soon as I, I get home. So that's the story. Uh, Papa's not dying. Papa's not dead. Uh, at least not right now. <laughs> Boy, there was a while today when I was wishing that I was or I was thinking maybe I was going to. Bandit is fine. He just stayed in the RV since I'd been through this before. Uh, I knew that... Uh, it was likely that I wasn't going to be in there uh, more than a few hours and that I'd be able to leave him safely in the RV and come out. And that's, that's exactly what happened. So um, that's my medical emergency. That's what happened. Uh, the end result is my trip this year is cut short again. <laughs> and uh, so I'm headed home as soon as I can in the next day or two. So it's uh, not really a yabba dabba do, but it is a Papa Dale checking out. <laughs> if you've watched more than one Papa and the Bandit video, isn't it about time you subscribe now? Please click the button and the bell to be notified of future videos. Then click one of the cards to check out our other videos. Thanks so much for watching. We truly do appreciate you.